I'm gonna head to town to have a lunch meeting with my Merck team, and I'm running a little bit late. But do I look stressed? No, because I'm gonna make a pot of corn and green chili chowder in a multi-cooker. It's gonna take no time at all, and it is going to be delicious. I started by putting the multi-cooker in saute mode, and I melted some butter. I just dropped in some chopped bacon, and in goes some sliced onion. Pretty good start to a soup. And I'm gonna stir these around just to get them totally coated in the butter. Oh, it already smells so good. And to make the soup extra scrumptious, I've got some fresh oregano. And I'll stir this around. I'm gonna give it about three minutes to cook. Oh gosh, it smells so good in this kitchen. Anything that starts with bacon and onions is okay by me. It always turns out delicious. Moving on, I've got some minced garlic. And this is corn and green chili chowder. So I'm using two cans of diced green chilies. I'm not gonna drain them, I'll just put them right in. If you wanna get fancy, you can roast your own green chilies. I didn't wanna get fancy. I'm already running late, so the canned chilies are a great shortcut. And then I've got some fresh corn kernels, and then I'll stir this around just a little bit longer. To me, when it's this time of year, nothing says comfort food like soup. I wouldn't normally consider chowder to be a really quick soup, and that is why I'm using the multi-cooker. It's gonna be a quick soup today. All right, that is coming along. I'm gonna add the liquid, just low sodium chicken broth. I'm gonna add about three cups or so. I'm gonna make a slurry to thicken the chowder. So I'll pour a little more broth into the pitcher and I'll add two tablespoons of cornstarch. I had grand plans to get up this morning, get my work done, start on the chowder, let it slowly simmer and thicken. It just didn't pan out for me. So the slurry goes in. I'll give it a stir. The lid goes on. Now I'm gonna set the seal and I'm gonna let this pressure cook for five minutes and then I'll release the steam and it'll be ready for the final step. When the little button pops down, then you can pull off the lid. Oh my gosh, it's really amazing how much happens in such a short amount of time in a pressure cooker. It just looks like it's been simmering away for two or three hours. I'm gonna make this ultra creamy by adding heavy cream. That's what corn chowder is all about for me. Creamy and rich and luscious. You don't have to have a big bowl, a little goes a long way. So now I've got two kinds of cheeses, regular Monterey Jack, some pepper jack, just to give it a little bit of spice. Cheese is my favorite thing in the world. Now it needs just a little bit of salt and pepper. Okay, I'm gonna stir this all together. And while I do, let me show you how I serve this up. Everyone gets a bowl of the chowder. It is so pretty. Look at those flecks of color and that creamy cheesiness. Then a sprinkle of sliced green onions, a chunk of bread, and that's a working lunch. Totally easy. I think the Merck girls are gonna love this chowder. Just look at this, I could eat it right now, but I won't. I am sharing this with others. I've got everything ready, bowls and spoons, sliced green onions, big loaf of bread, and corn and green chili chowder. I'm gonna put the lid on and I'm gonna get to town. I've got a pot of comfort to deliver.